welcome to Pain and Tsunamis Productions. My name is Kara. I'm Corbin. And we are Wait, going to be doing... Oh, yeah, whatever. Who cares, okay? They know. They already know from the Ocarina of Time one, okay? Um, like we said in Ocarina of Time, we are doing Majora's Mask. We actually haven't made... I haven't actually made a file on this one yet. Whoa, wow, it's on mute. Okay. Um, so, yeah. We're going to be starting it from scratch. We may not talk a lot because... We are going to talk, just not as much. Reading the game disc. Ooh la la. <laughs> Why are you like, ooh la la? I don't know. I'm just bored. We'll keep playing until we get tired and we'll stop recording and then we'll probably make another one. Yeah. What? I just realized, um, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I know what to do, I know what to do, what, copy, and put it over there, see, now I have it over here, oh yeah, I have the Mortal Kombat stuff, now I gotta switch them on my cards, blocks left on my other one. I gotta start deleting some stuff on there. What's this? Soul Calibur. Right. Uh, what don't I need? Man. This one seems to have more. Yeah, because it has all my monsters. Anyway, we'll try this again, people. I'm sorry about this. I did not yeah. realize that. I should have had Wait, I'm gonna go get a seat. Okay. Oh, you ain't gonna. Never mind. Just go get one. There. Now we can do the opening sequence. Reading game desk. Come on. You better be able. Game from the opening sequence. You've never actually seen the opening sequence? No. Do you want to watch it then? Okay. Yeah, I guess the opening sequence is gonna be a little longer because my nephew here has never seen it. So for the Majora's people. Fans who have seen it, take some us. popcorn. Yeah, get some popcorn. Or something. You don't need to yell into the microphone. They can hear us. They can pick it up. Well, the microphone can. Oh, no. That's not that scary. I love doing the voice for him. I do. I love it. For the skull kid. What's his voice like? Uh, I just do a random little voice. It's hilarious. His heart looks weird. Oh, that dude's creepy. I'm telling you, he's a pedophile. <laughs> What's a pedophile mean? D it's a man that tries to rape little kids. No, he isn't. You'll see what I mean. I can try, but I, I know can that he does this to wait. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why are you that doing? sends the wrong message. It looks like he's hugging him, though. That's what why it sends the wrong message. You're supposed to give it back okay, to me. Okay, stop that now. I love this sequence. You can't actually sit down like that. I wish you could. He's so weird. What's he for? Oh, um, there's a room. The room that he's uh, booked. If you get it before he does, he has the name, same name as you. Um, if you get it before he does, um, you can get a hundred rubies from his room. The quality on the computer for this isn't so bad. Like for the really bright stuff, like that little fairy that's floating around, you can't really see it that well. But that's why do you really need bright. the little fairies? Collect them all, and you get the great fairy. Yeah. Like out of the temples because the, the skull kid kind of shattered them, kind of destroyed her and shattered her little pieces everywhere. That would hurt. Yeah, I know. So when you get her back, all her pieces back, she'll give you a gift. Like more magic and stuff, but I hardly ever do that. I probably, I probably actually beat this game with very little magic and very few hearts and stuff like that. Oh, this is creepy. That skull kid? Yeah. 
Skull Kid looks like he's made out of wood. They are, technically. Is it there are skeletons? No. Why does the moon look like that? Because that's what the Skull Kid did to the moon. He made it come alive, and now it's falling on them. But that was the opening sequence. Skull Kid, have... when, he, when he had all that power, he didn't really... Doesn't matter what file I'm making on. Uh, should I just call him Link? Yeah. Like in my other one, I called him Slifer, which I don't know why. And it, like I called him Slifer because I didn't think I would actually get that far in the game because I had completely forgot how to play. Wow, we got nothing. Now we it's just in, started. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made, had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. For Valley. A journey in search of a beloved and valuable friend. So that's my bit now. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Navi. But that's not Navi. No. You never find her. Nope. I wish in the last one of these you would. It'd be some hundred years. Epona, I like this one because when you you can actually ride her when you're a kid because you don't grow up except when you use the fierce sighting mask. And he's not, he's a little smaller than the horse, so they kind of got the proportions right this time. You know what's stupid? What? He's like, that horse wouldn't listen. So I gave it a kick out of here. Or something like kick that. He like Dude, he dude. Just what? don't talk about it if you don't know what you're going to say. Think before you say, speak. Wow, I can't even speak. I'm going to start thinking Well, now. he said that. He said that. Yeah, yeah that horse that's okay, never but listened. What is up with that stupid animal? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. I did you a favor and got rid of it. Oh, oh why so glum? I want to read it. Anyway, I want to read it. I'm no, always I a mean, reader. I mean, I want you to read it before. How come you see the mask before Skull Kid? I don't know. Actually, oh. the, actually, the mask is controlling him. He's a puppet, kind of, sort of. You only learn that way later. <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh. You can see his eyes. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I thought he was a, literally a skeleton. No. That's the result of what happens when you get lost in the Lost Woods. That's what you turn into. And they help you too. When yeah. you get only when you're a kid. In Ocarina of Time, if you're an adult and you speak to them, they attack you. Oh, oh, what a pretty Ocarina! Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see it. They laugh. They're being stupid. You can't tell. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way. You can't touch it. Hey, how do you? Oh, but this. Why can't I try it out too? How come he, he has his Ocarina? I thought he took it. Uh, he, Princess Zelda gave it this back to him. This is funny. Princess, yeah, I love the expression on his face. <gasps> Wasn't me. Uh, I didn't do it. If you're a kid, they'll help you, but if you're a... Uh, An adult, they'll attack you. And then if you get lost, they'll turn you into one of them. Well, no, the forest does, not them. Well, yeah, they used to be Kokirians, too. They used to be people from...